CBI court in uh, Jodhpur has given three days time to file a case against former minister Arun Shori. He was the disinvestment minister. Former Secretary Pradeep Bejal and Mrs. Jyotsna Suri of Lalit Hotels Limited in a case that goes back to 2002 of sale of the famous Lakshmi Vilas Palace Hotel. Now for more on this, let's go across to Harsha Kumari Singh and I'm also joined by Arvind Gunasekar. Uh, Harsha, if you could tell us a little bit about this case. Well, you know, this uh, Lakshmi Vilas Palace Hotel is one of the most iconic properties in Udaipur. It was belonged to the former rulers of Udaipur, the Maharanas of Udaipur. It, it's on a hill and it has this most gorgeous view of the Fateh Sagar Lake. Uh, after the accession of the princely states, remember a lot of the palaces were actually given up by the Maharajas to the government of India, to the uh, to the present day, to the modern day uh, government of India post independence. Now, one of the properties that the rulers of Udaipur, the former rulers of Udaipur, gave to the government of India was this Lakshmi Vilas Palace Hotel. Now, for many many years, the government ran it as a hotel. And then later in 2001, when they realized it was not making profits, this entire process of disinvestment started. Uh, in 2002, that, uh, the whole process of disinvestment was completed and uh, uh, the Lalit group of hotels uh, acquired that uh, Lakshmi Vilas Palace Hotel. But it went for a little more than seven crores. And that time too, it created a huge um, controversy because people at that time uh, valued that property at least at over a hundred crores. Now, um, uh, remember, it's a, it's a heritage property. It has uh, antique value, so in that sense, it was absolutely priceless. But when the disinvestment committee uh, looked at the valuation of the property, they looked at prevailing land rates, they looked at the fact that you cannot construct in that area, and then they looked at the PWD construction uh, of that palace, and uh, it was valued at seven, at over seven crores. Uh, so uh, that evaluation was actually quite controversial at that point. Uh, and then, of course, later on, uh, the CBI was asked to in investigate that. So for more on that, we can speak to Arvind. Right. But that's the background of this case, Anjali. Right, Arvind. Uh, so now, uh, if you could explain to us what exactly would be the CBI's for, uh, course of action from here. Anjali, the Central Bureau of Investigation on August uh, August 13, 2014, they had registered a case involving in connection with the alleged irregularities in disinvestment of this particular hotel, that is Lakshmi, uh, Lakshmi Villas uh, Palace Hotel in Udaipur in Rajasthan. So this, like Harsha Kumar Singh was explaining, this uh, even at that time, this created a huge uproar because this particular hotel was sold to Bharat Hotel somewhere around 7.5 lakh rupees, 7.5 crore rupees. So that's where the entire controversy began. In fact, based on a source-based information, the Central Bureau of Investigation had registered a case saying that this there were several irregularities in selling this hotel to the Bharat Hotel uh, at that throwaway price of 7.5 crore, whereas according to the complaint, uh, the value of this particular hotel at that particular point of time was somewhere around 151 crore. So based on that particular source-based information, the Central Bureau of Investigation had registered a case. In that particular case, after a four years of investigation, late in 2019, the agency had filed a closure report before the special CBI court in Jodhpur, where they had said that they do not have... they. Uh, throughout their investigation, during their investigation, th there is no, that they could not come up with any inv any evidence through to 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 uh, to, in, to initiate a prosecution in this particular case for so far lack of in, uh, so far lack of evidence the agency had said that we are filing a closure report in this particular case but in an interesting twist the special CBI court in Jodhpur has rejected that particular closure report and now the court has asked the Central Bureau of Investigation to reopen the case to reinvestigate the case so that's the only one part of the uh, order the second part of that is very much important because even when the FIR was filed Arun Shori who was the then uh, Minister of Disinvestment he was not named as an accused in that particular affair. But now, the special CBI court, Jodhpur, has asked the CBI to name uh, Arun Shori as also as an accused in this particular case. And they have also asked the uh, they have also asked the Central Bureau of Investigation to initiate an inquiry under section like uh, criminal conspiracy, cheating, and also right. prevention of corruption act. So this is a very very big uh, order that has come from the special CBI court. Now right. we have to wait and watch what the CBI will do because our sources in the Central Bureau of Investigation say that they have uh, they are in a process of consulting their legal minds to see right. whether this particular order has to be challenged or not. So when we reached out to Arun Shori for his comment. Arun Sheru told us that he has not seen the order. His his right. legal team will go through the order and then he will be deciding the future course of action here. Right.